So we've got some really clever ways of allowing you to find the markets you're specifically looking at within BetAngel. And you can do that in Guardian, which is great for multi-market stuff, where you can search individually and through the market selection um, option within BetAngel. Uh, but you can also do some really clever stuff. If you look at what I'm doing on here, if I go to the search area and go to the drop down list, can you see that I have pre-populated it with a range of different markets and I've split them out into search criteria for specific markets. Um, so if you want to learn how to do that, then watch the rest of this video. Please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So on this video, what I'm going to do is focus on searching for individual markets um, and narrowing your search losing logical functions. That sounds really dull and boring, but actually it's quite useful um, if you understand how to do it. It, it brings out another layer of power that you get uh, with BetAngel. Now, if you use Guardian, um, there are search features in there that is dealt with within Guardian videos because Guardian allows you to pull in loads of markets very, very quickly. Um, so we're not going to focus on that because that needs a separate video. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on when you bring up a market on BetAngel. So if you go to File, Select Market, you get the Market Selection um, menu. So I'm just going to pin that um, in the middle of the screen. And you can go through the individual market tree to find stuff that you're interested in, or you can use the quick picks, um, or you can use the search function. So in the search function, you can actually see uh, we've got predefined elements within there. So if you do tennis and match odds, you can see that brings up all tennis matches and all match odds. So if, for example, I go to, um, you can see one of the predefined ones, we've got soccer and championship and match odds. So you can see that brings up matches to do with the with, that are football matches uh, in the championship and match odds. But can you see it's brought in Aloha uh, versus Air? Um, so th the way that we've constructed this is that generally you'll be searching for similar markets most of the time or things that are of interest to you. Um, so really what you want to do is do you want to be able to define that fairly quickly? Now we could list... Uh, like pick list, um, search criteria, blah, 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 blah. we could do tons and tons and tons of them. But then it gets just as confusing because instead of searching a market tree, you have to search a market tree for options. So it's better that you custom define what you want. Now you can do this uh, in two different ways because it's possible that you can actually um, create the, the search string, which is what we call it. This is the search string, basically this thing up here. Um, in coding terms, a string is a uh, an alphanumeric characters basically. Um, so yeah, this is the criteria that we're searching for, soccer and championship and match odds. So it's saying find anything that has the word soccer and championship and match odds on it and display it below. Um, and that's what we call the search string. So what you can do is you can actually create those and then store them somewhere useful for you to reuse. So you could have a little text file, an email, or something stored somewhere where you just pull that across and dump it in and away you go from there. I'll show you how to get that to the next level in a second. Um, so it pre-populates. Well, let's just focus on the search string for the moment. The AND is uh, what we call a logical uh, command. So you're saying soccer AND, so-and-so AND, and, and you can see how that develops. So rather than just typing in um, uh, search for everything to do with soccer, which will bring up an, an infinite number of markets. Um, and you can see it's taken a bit of time to do that. You need to narrow your focus by introducing these logical components into the search string. So if we do soccer and match odds, then you can see that brings up all soccer matches and match odds. Now tonight, it's the Europa League. So if I do soccer and match odds and Europa, then you can see it brings up all soccer matches and match odds and the Europa League matches. So uh, today, if I, so for example, we could do uh, 20 September and soccer and match odds and, so I'm just going to expand the screen here so you can see everything that we're doing. Um, 20 September and soccer and match odds and Europa. 
So that brings up all matches that are on the 20th of September. So that's how you can use the date if you want to narrow it down. Now, I don't tend to put the date in because obviously the date changes. Um, and as a consequence, uh, that would be something you do at the very last moment if you're going to have predefined search strings. But you could, for example, so here we can see it's uh, we've got match odds and match odds both teams to score. So on this particular occasion, um, I'm not interested in both teams to score. So how do we eliminate uh, that particular search function? So if I do soccer and match odds and Europa and not uh, both teams, then you can see it eliminates that. And now you can see that we've actually got some matches that have match odds and over and under. So I could say um, and not over under. And then it eliminates those as well. So can you see you can use um, a whole uh, set of commands to bring up stuff that's related to specifically what you want to search for. Um, and if you wanted to throw in, um, you know, if you could just say and Arsenal. I mean, I can see it on the screen here, so it's a bit pointless. But that way you see you can zoom straight in to some specific focus. So the and Arsenal or the date, you would probably miss out. You'd have a generic search term, and then you would add in the components that you're most interested uh, in looking at. So the logical commands you can use are and, or, and not. And the idea is you can do and, or, not, <laughs> um, and, not, and, or, uh, or, and. You can mix them all up and do whatever you like. If you've never used logic um, to search before, it may get a little bit confusing. It may require a little bit of playing with, but you'll soon get the hang of it. So you can see here, you know, one of the tricks that I use is um, if you uh, capitalize the logical search commands, then it makes it easier to read uh, specifically what you're doing. And that can be pretty helpful in terms of fully understanding exactly what you're trying to search for and, and how you're going to do it. So it's very powerful and very easy to bring in lots of stuff. So you could say search for this and this um, and not this uh, or that <laughs> effectively is the way that you can do it. Um, I'm not going to labor on and spend ages talking you through each variation because that's something that you can play around with and discover. But it's great for searching for stuff. You know, you, you want to trade a certain market, you want to trade a certain selection. If you use the logic commands, you can zoom straight in on that or a group of selections that match that criteria. It's a really, really helpful way uh, of searching for stuff. Now, what you can do is if you copy that string and, and store it somewhere, that will allow you to, to go back. Um, so you could copy and paste this into a notepad and then bring that back in. Um, but if you actually um, look at what I'm going to do now um, and where we started this video, you can see you can actually create an entire list yourself. So let me show you how you can do that because that'll save you a lot of time. Uh, when you're searching for specific markets. So to keep this short and sweet, um, what I've done is I've gone straight to the subdirectory on the computer where Betangel stores the search lists. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, is rather than talk you through how to get there, um, there's a blog post where we explain this and it's in, in a useful and easy to understand way. And that will direct you straight to where this file is. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you the, the URL, uh, I was going to say the URL, the directory where it's stored, um, and the file name. And if you're technically competent enough, you'll be able to find it quite easily. But if you've never done this before, have a look at the blog post, and it will talk you through the specific steps that you require to gain access to this area. But basically, if you go into where BetAngel is stored on your computer, you will find a file in there uh, called... Uh, search list. You see it listed as a .cfg file, um, but this is actually just a basic plain text file. So if I double click on this, you can see it brings up uh, the criteria that we would have uh, when you're searching on that pick list that we used. And then you can basically just over type and store in there whatever you wanted. So if we went in and just put um, Europa and match odds and uh, soccer and I put Europe there, and not both. You can actually construct uh, the file that you require from there. So uh, what I've actually done uh, in, in great Blue Peter fashion is here's one I created earlier. And uh, I, I won't bother saving this one for the moment. 
but I actually have a list of commonly used markets that I like to use. Uh, and here you can see, I've called it my search list. But basically you would put this in to that particular file or you move that file over that you construct somewhere else. And you can see that what I've also done is I've, hit, I've, I've titled it football markets, I've put a space in, and then I've done a number of variations below that. And you can do uh, northbound on the forum, did all of these to split out singles matches that weren't qualifiers, that weren't um, uh, challenger tour matches and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, you can see that there's a lot of things that you can do. If you w wanted something um, constructed or a, a line that searches specifically for something that you're interested in, there's no reason why you couldn't pop onto the forum and ask because most of us are very um, used to doing this sort of thing. So it would be quite easy for us to be able to construct something that you could put into the software. But basically there's a file that's stored on your computer that contains that list that you see within BetAngel. If you go in and edit that list with the criteria that you're looking for, then the next time you fire up BetAngel, it will be immediately available to you. So to save you from the boredom of me copying a file over, I've just copied a file over to this subdirectory. And um, if we actually click on that, you can see it now displays uh, all of the information uh, that I was talking about. And I fired up Bet Engine in the background. And if we actually go into Bet Angel um, and we go, I'll bring this down here and click on the list, there they all are. So if I want to search for individual markets now, I can just go down this individual list, um, click on that, and then do a search and up they pop. It just two clicks to bring back um, a very specific search criteria looking exactly for the markets that we desire.